What's going on everyone and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can fix the Apple Watch notifications. Let's begin with this video right now. First of all, let me explain some things and by fixing the Apple Watch notifications I actually mean the fact that sometimes the Apple Watch doesn't show you the notification that you would want it. You then take a look at the iPhone and you can see there but you didn't get the notification on your watch, how you can fix this behavior, how you can make the Apple Watch notifications according to your preferences and according to the way you want it to. So the first and most important thing that you will have to understand is that in case you have your Apple Watch on your wrist but your iPhone or any kind of other device that uses the same account or you a device or a device where you would be able to get that notification is turned on and you are using it then you won't get the notification on your watch because the Apple Watch assumes that you probably have seen it on your phone when it's turned on and you get the notification there there is no need to simply show the notification on your Apple Watch this is how it works you know and everything regarding the alert and everything once you see it on your phone, you just don't get it on uh, the Apple Watch. This is how it should work, actually. But sometimes it can simply happen that even though you don't have your iPhone turned on or you're not looking at it, you still didn't get the feedback or uh, the alert on your watch, on your wrist. So then you're gonna have to open up the watch app, obviously, and head over to the notification section. And here you have every single app, and most of them by default are only having the option turned on which says to mirror an iPhone. And I'm not saying this is a bad thing, but if you want to have it, or if you want to have a little bit more control over this, you're gonna have to click on your own settings. And here you will just need to turn on everything what you need. So you can choose if you wanted to have it the, even with the sound or only with the haptic and other options that you would like to keep there. So you can get a notification like with the tone and with the haptic every time something happens or you can only have it displayed in your notification center when you swipe down from the lock screen on your Apple Watch or you can disable them completely. And this is what you have to set up according to every app and in pretty much every single section if you just want to control the behavior and the notification of every single app. And if still your notifications just don't work on your device, then the problem could be somewhere else. Let's face this scenario. You have everything turned on in your watch app, you have the Apple Watch in range, you have it on your wrist. All of those devices are turned off or you just don't use them, are locked somewhere on the table. You should technically get the notification, but you simply don't. And what's the reason? What's the cause behind this? First of all, you have to keep in mind that everything needs to work together. So if you get a notification on your iPhone, this one should be moved over to the Apple Watch. But if you just forbid the iPhone for, from giving you the notifications, that way your Apple Watch cannot get them either. So if you open up the settings, but this time not the settings of your Apple Watch, but in the classic settings, you need to go to the notification section and here you have to make sure that all of the apps have enabled the notifications. Of course, only those that you want to get. But if you have, for example, these says reminders, which in the watch app, everything is turned on. You can see that I have everything what I wanted to, to do here. Everything is turned on. Everything is allowed. So I should get them. But you won't because on your iPhone, in the actual settings, it was turned off. And this is something that you have to grasp and you have to understand if you just want to get your notification back on the track and if you want to really have something from your Apple Watch. If you just really want to be productive with this and if you want to feel like it was worth it to buy an Apple Watch, it's basically this is the way to go because the Apple Watch is mostly considered as an extension for your notification on your wrist and this is one of the best uses if you wouldn't even open up the Apple Watch at all if you wouldn't turn on any app, if you would only use it to get the alert and get the information from your iPhone right on your wrist without you having to take out the iPhone out of your pocket, 
then it would be just a great thing. So I guess that this is the biggest problem that many people have with this. There isn't anything else what I could tell you regarding the notifications. I guess that I have said everything and if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this tutorial and found it a little bit helpful, then click on the subscribe button as well as on the like button and make sure you don't miss any future videos, anything related Apple and stuff like that. So see you guys in the next videos. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day.